Best selling 292 BHDS Freedom Express from Coachman here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Only 6,420 pounds, 6,420. Yet we've got like a 30 foot bunkhouse with full outside kitchen, uh, rear bunks, uh, big super slide, and this is taller than industry standard. It's a bigger trailer with more storage and nicer components. Yet it still is a very aggressive 6,420 pounds. How do they do that? Why buy Freedom Express? Why buy from Halet RV? That is what this video is all about. I'm not going to tell you about a toilet and a refrigerator. Everybody has that stuff. I'm going to discuss the unique qualities of this trailer to see if it fits within the needs of your family. And if it does, give us a call. We can deliver these anywhere and man have we. Holy cow. Coast to coast literally. So. Uh, largest uh, front storage in class. There are a few other manufacturers who since Freedom Express has come out with this, like, what is this? It's like uh, 47 cubic foot, which is more than a lot of fifth wheels have. There's other brands who have tried to match this, but no one has yet exceeded it really. Um, and again, more end user friendly features like the indoor outdoor picnic table built in uh, comes with it from Coachman. How cool is that? You know, you're going to be outside, you're going to be camping. This is a family camper. You need places to put stuff outside. And this thing is virtually indestructible. You leave it outside in the sun, the wind, the rain, the snow, nobody cares because it's a resin top. And just nicer, cooler features like we have the uh, full length LED light strip here in the basement to give you better lighting. They have bigger, wider baggage doors to put bigger, wider cargo in there. And nice little slam latches. Check that out. Um, the uh, nose cap here is part of the Liberty Edition, and uh, there's there's a Freedom Express, a Liberty Edition, then we've added a Premier package, and I think a couple other things. We've dressed this up basically as much as you possibly can. This is uh, the LX of the RV world, and it is a highly copycatted travel trailer. There are a lot of other brands out there that have tried to key into what Freedom Express is doing here. They haven't yet. That's why this product continues to grow. And the last couple years has been among, if not the top selling lightweight at our uh, dealership here. These guys are getting it done. A lot of really smart little features make the difference. They tongue mount the spare tire. And what that allowed them to do, they flipped around the propane tanks and the battery here. And that gave them room for two batteries. And by tongue mounting the spare tire, they left the rear bumper wide open. And the question I asked immediately is, well, why would they do that? started looking into it. That gives it better load equalization so you're not porpoising and bouncing down the road. Um, it also leaves the rear bumper wide open and uh, because you need to put a bike rack on here more than likely if you're gonna have kids with a bunch of bikes. Enclosed uh, heated underbelly by the way to extend your camping season plus a smooth underbelly helps slip stream down the road. Think of an airplane. They're smooth on the bottom not just the top, same reason, aerodynamics. Seal gripping slide wall back here. You see that rough texture? That is pulling that seal uh, in or out as taut as it possibly can to give you the best possible sealing. All windows slide open for maximum ventilation because feature comes first at Coachman. It has to work, you know, great first and look good second. Um, thankfully, they pretty much accomplish both at the same time here. And these are UV tinted. That's another little difference here in the lightweight world, really in the trailer world period, is there are some brands that will forego the UV tint. That can mean that your trailer gets a little bit warmer, it means you lose some privacy. Uh, you know, uh, just quick black tank flush outside shower, all your hookups back here. I'm not gonna belabor that point a whole lot. They did open up every little pocket of storage they could though, because again, there's no such thing as too much storage. So we were talking about the rear bumper. Little known fact, generally speaking in this business, if you do add touch anything on that rear bumper, you could void the structural portion of the warranty of your trailer. But Coachman goes, what are you talking about? These kids need a bike rack. You know, they again, openly welcome that. So they build their structure accordingly. That's what's so nice about these guys. Um, the uh, outside kitchen here is a full size outside kitchen in a product segment that so often is going to these smaller outside kitchens. They still, and, and that's the whole thing. That's the defining, like if you said, Josh, what is a Freedom Express? A Freedom Express is an ultralight trailer that doesn't look, feel, smell, or touch like an ultralight. It's a full size, fully featured travel trailer, just in a lightweight shell. They use better materials, better components to make all that happen. Like we still, they redesigned their outside kitchen recently and I love it because they moved the fridge down. Man, I've got some wicked backlighting. It is not helping me here. There we go. They moved the fridge down so that you can, uh, you know, get to it more easily. It's also nice for kids. So this is going to cut down on potty or uh, on uh, refrigerator trips in and out. Now they left this wide open up here if you want to throw a TV 
out here, you can. They left you an extra set of outlets next to a bunch of countertop space so that you can actually get through here and, and use appliances. Both inside and outside, you're going to see a purpose-built um, sink drawer right here. This uh, can hold all your forks, spoons, knives, and everything. You take this right over to the picnic table and you've got all your utensils there. When you're done, you bring it back. It's resin, so you can just wash it out. And all of your countertops are sealed, pressed membranes so that you don't have to worry about something uh, you know, rotting on you over here. Now they use a high output outside grill instead of a low output because you're outside. Wind blows out here. Low output grills can be blown out by the wind and then you're just pumping propane into the air, which is never smart. Um, this is also freestanding, so take it wherever you want. You don't even have to use it right here. Now this is a neat thing. This little outside utility drawer, this is usually built with that grill in mind, but because there's one already back here, they said, hey, what if we just put a big drawer out here? And as a person who goes camping, I look at this and I say, oh my gosh, this is just the perfect spot to put like bug spray and uh, sunscreen and all that outdoor stuff that you always forget inside. Again, cuts down on trips in and out, gets you back to camping sooner, faster, and, and having a great time. Wide stance stability axles. Think of a teeter-totter. If, if the axles were close together, it could, it, you know, the teeter-totter could pivot really easily. But if you spread those axles apart, it makes it harder for that teeter-totter to pivot. That's the whole idea behind this trailer. Instead of going down the road bouncing really hard, it's going to just kind of easy go down the road. You're not going to get tossed around your vehicle. The weight will stay on your steering tires and you'll have a better, smoother towing experience. Power awning with LED lighting up here so you do have an awesome outside patio. And this is LED lighting at the base of the awning instead of in the tube so you don't even have to roll the awning out to use it. Um, bigger entry handle part of one of the upgrades, I don't know. And one of the main things they do different on a Freedom Express is Asdell. You see that white line, that white board in the walls? That's what's under the skin. <clears throat> Asdell uh, is basically made of melted pot bottles. It's a recycled uh, resin. It's rot, mold, mildew, waterproof. Um, it's 50% lighter than the Luan uh, that paneling that usually goes in these walls. And uh, it is actually has a higher R factor than Luan. So an inch and a half ultralight wall has the same insulative qualities as a two inch non-ultralight wall. Thanks coachman, you're awesome. It is not the cheapest component out there. It is one of the better ones. My battery is blinking at me. At some point here, the video is going to blip. My apologies, but we're just going to keep on rolling. I'll swap out when I have to. So, uh, unlike a lot of lightweights or trailers, period, even some fifth wheels, you walk in, boom, all the lights are on one switch. Then we have little accent lights with these big paddle switches down here. And notice how they're hiding uh, outlets up here so that you just have a nice, clean-looking kitchen. We'll come back to that in a minute. This interior decor is called Slate. So if you like everything except the fabric, oh my gosh, do we sell a bunch of these. And we, we usually have this in double or triplicate in stock at any time to have different options for you. So we've upgraded to a full tri-fold memory foam hide bed sleeper sofa. And again, the little touches they put in Freedom Express are everything. You know, it, it's, it's the little things that make the big difference. It sounds dumb, but the fact that they gave you just a cup holder in the sofa. You don't think about that. But again, as a person who actually goes out and goes camping, there's nowhere, to, there's nowhere to set a drink over here. So you're constantly up and down. You didn't sit on the sofa so you could do calisthenics. You sat down so you could <laughs> relax. Why not? Big U-Dinette. Now here's the thing too. We've got a full-size U-Dinette and full-size hide-a-bed sofa. That means this is an extra long slide out. Those little differences are key. You know, if uh, you can't put a U-Dinette in the space of a non-U-Dinette, it has to be bigger. Yet again, the weight is still super aggressive. There is, uh, that folds down to like a seven foot bed right there, so an adult can sleep on it, maybe two, depending on how cozy you feel like being. Um, Again, every countertop in this is a sealed press membrane, so even here where you're going to, you know, do a lot of your eating and drinking, it's not going to run the risk of falling apart. Obviously, you know, storage is a word I'm going to wear out in a coachman because they do such a good job of it. Uh, for big heavy stuff or awkward stuff, they give you just an access panel. Now, even the rear bench, they give you access panels back here, and I don't know why, but I don't see anybody else doing that. Maybe it's some extra labor time and they're trying to save the money, but what a useful feature. Um, windows are uh, a big thing here. Big, bright windows for lots of light, and they put that skylight up there above the dinette. And there is a shade on that, by the way, if you don't want to feel like you're getting fried under a magnifying glass. They are very good for outlets here at Coachman. That is awesome. Um, 
The uh, This can either be a pantry or a linen cabinet directly next to the bathroom, but still in the living slash kitchen area. So you can kind of do with that whatever you please. Um, in the, uh, pro, what is it, Liberty Edition, we upgrade to a solid surface kitchen countertop with, uh, we've got matching sink covers here with a recessed stone cast sink. Uh, I mentioned that and stress that specifically because this is an American source product that is not a plastic cheap sink that's going to melt uh, if you pour hot water on it from cooking over in your oven here. Sorry for the camera light dark fade, just the backlight's killing me. Now, look at this real close. These ovens are all the same size. And again, it's the fine details that set them apart. You see how you have an extra foot of countertop space behind it? That means this whole Whole countertop is deeper. Uh, that that gives you room for appliances and extra cargo and stuff back there. But that also means they had to make the cabinets bigger. So you've got even more storage there with another one of these purpose-built, wicked awesome wraparound um, sink drawers. And hey, nobody ever gripes about a uh, pull-out kitchen sprayer. Now here's another defining quality. I mentioned this is bigger. This has an 81-inch tall interior versus an industry standard 78. What does three inches mean? The answer is it means a lot means we have taller cabinets, we have a taller shower, we have taller bunks with more headroom, we also have a taller slide out, and that's the difference. With an 81 inch tall wall, you actually get more functional space than a 78 inch wall with an arch or a 78 with a linear profile. An 81 inch with a linear profile is among the very best ways to build a trailer out there in my opinion. Um, you know, there's nothing wrong with a 78 inch tall interior. What if you're not tall like me? What if you don't need it? Then it's, I get it, you know, that's fine. But this is this is bigger, you know, if, if you were building a house and you said, would you like uh, seven foot ceilings or eight foot? You're gonna say eight foot every time. Eight cubic foot refrigerator freezer, that's a 33% larger upgrade as part of the Premier package, which is also giving us this really cool just backlit LED accent ceiling tray up here. Um, very fun looking, I, I like this thing. It has a cool glow about it. Now they do the same thing around the fireplace, which is another part of that Premier package. And the switch for both of these activates at the same time those little extra accent switches I was talking about over there. Uh, let's peek at the bathroom real quick. By the way, we will typically upgrade to a 15,000 BTU air instead of a 13.5 so again pretty much doing everything we can with this that that means that this thing recycles the air in its trailer six times per hour instead of four to give you just like 50 percent more power basically um we've got a uh, a nicer stool here porcelain not plastic foot flush and uh, I like how they open this up so you've got easy access to like extra toilet papers and things. Ground fault protected outlet with some countertop space for, you know, blow dryers and shavers and all that. And uh, a nice, uh, a very nice big extra tall shower with a skylight. And uh, my balding head's about to blind you. Oh, oh so's that sun. But uh, you can see that again, stand, let me just really, I can barely touch the ceiling with my head if I stand on my toes. This is the difference between an 81 inch and a 78 inch ceiling. I'm 6'3", just to give you a reference point, it makes such a difference. Now, again, little end user features are why I love these. It's all those little things I've talked about. Like a phone charging station, doesn't seem like that big of a deal, but did you really spend this kind of money to have a, just a, a whole bunch of phone chargers plugged into your kitchen uh, outlets and occupying your countertop space? That's not my idea of, of, well, ideal, I guess. So they purpose build something here for that. You can put iPads or phones or anything in here. Hey, you get to see, I mean, to give you an idea, guys, I'm not, I'm not just preaching this stuff. I'm wearing my Coachman jacket. I like these guys. I like them. That's, you know, this is the thing I wear all the time. Um, Keep your chargers out of the way. Keep all that stuff out of the way. Little key holders, so everything's got a little place, basically. Um, back here, we've got an awesome bunk situation. So tons of windows in this bunkhouse. I didn't even bother flipping on lights in here because there's really no need. So because the outside kitchen's over here, they opened up the inside wall to just pure, unadulterated storage. More storage, more storage, more storage with an entertainment center above. All the windows open for breeze. All the windows have privacy shades. Um, you know, this is just such a monster. And again, outlets all over the place. They just kill it over here. Uh, there's a reason this is one of our best sellers. Uh, you know, somebody asked me, uh, occasionally Coachman calls their dealers and asks, you know, quality assurance. What is your favorite part about our Coachmans? What's your least favorite? What can we work on? What's your best selling model? This was one of the two best sellers. It was tied for first at our dealership. It's just awesome. It's a best in class for sure. You see, we do have sliding privacy doors. We have a spinning entertainment center, so that can face the bedroom as well. Um, 
the entertainment center or the unit here is AM, FM, CD, DVD, Bluetooth. It does everything. Again, little extra outlets and easy hookups are just a godsend. Um, and the, the privacy doors are so key. Here's another uh, more rare feature, not 100% uh, unique, but a full 80 inch true queen bed. So a lot of people say, well, I don't like it when the bed's close to the entertainment center. That's because most beds are shorter camper queen. This is not. I'm 6'3". Again, I can hang on this bed without my feet hanging off the bed, and I don't kick stuff. Power outlets beside the bed for CPAP machines. Um, dual element reading lamps. Touch for a nice blue to glow or to read at night. Hold for a white to be nice and bright. Both sides of the bedroom have uh, windows for cross breeze and an extra window above. I think we pretty much hit all the high points before the batteries went dead. We've got, you know, uh, all aluminum uh, framed um, walls, uh, laminated uh, walls, laminated floor. It does have a traditionally constructed roof with five inch uh, roof trusses and um, a three eighths full walk on roof decking. And um, that's the difference. This, this is another thing. Not all lightweights have a walkable roof system. That is again, a, a big Freedom Express difference. Um, what else am I missing? I don't know, a lot. There's a lot to cover here, but I gotta wrap this up. So give us a call, 800-256-5196. Hey, Lit RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care, everyone. Stay safe, have fun, happy camping. Give us the opportunity. We're gonna earn your business. All it takes is a phone call or an email. Thanks so much. Have a great day.